Hello awesome squad, welcome back to another video. I'm not, this is not a fun video for me, it's not going to be a fun video for me. I'm just going to be expressing myself. Now recently I saw a video of a little boy in a store and he was destroying some television sets. Numerous television sets. So I'm going to share the video with you so you can see what was happening on the floor. Now, it's obvious. I, at first, when I saw it, I thought this was somewhere in Jamaica. But when I looked again, I realized it was not Jamaica. I think it maybe could be a BJ's or a Costco. I'm not sure. But I'm going to have you look at the video. And then we're going to talk about the events happening on that video. All right? So... Here goes. Let's talk. Now, if you are a special needs mom, like myself, or you're a special needs teacher, or you've interacted with these children before, once you see them, you are able to identify them. So the first thing that I looked at when I saw the video was, I looked at his movement. I looked at his body movement and I saw that he was walking weird and his hands were in a flapping motion so that's what he was doing and as he walked along on the top of the shelf he was he was pushing over the television sets all right now what else i noticed was that there were workers in there because i saw persons with name tags and i also saw a security guard I also noticed that they were not being aggressive towards him and that they were trying their best to get him calm to try to get him off the shelf. Now the video didn't go that long to see if they got him off the shelf. What caught my attention was the comment section. And then it really hit me that in this country in Jamaica, we are definitely not ready to accept children or people with special needs and abuse is real and literally the comment section was it almost brought tears to my eyes because as a mom I can't protect my child forever and if my child has to go out into the world can you imagine the treatment that would be meted towards him because of how Jamaicans feel about children and people who are special needs people now i wrote down the comments i was in under the comment section because it tore me up so i was there toe to toeing with people because i was really upset and the comments they really hurt me all right so one of the comments that i saw first the first one that i saw was from this person j official or whatever his name is and he said make a jamaica him day would i get a expletive slap off of this so of course if he was in jamaica they're expecting that they would just hit him up then somebody else said well glad he's not jamaican or in jamaica or in parents would have pronounced him and in jamaica once we hear pronounce we think about day so that's what the person is trying to see. Then somebody else, boss baby, fool for pitney this. They could have killed me. Then somebody says, me a disowning. Expletive, expletive, expletives. 
Then there is this person now, Unika, whatever her name is, and she had a lot to say. She said if he is a special with special need, the real question is, how did he get out of his parents? She wasn't even using correct grammar. So I'm going to try and read it with correct grammar. How did he get out of his parents' control to even get up there in the first place? A child like this needs more attention and if I was his mother, God bless his limbs after I drag him down and y'all are petting him too much. And I think she's referring to the security guard and the workers there who were trying to get him down. So she felt that they were petting him by taking their time out to try to woo him to get off the shelf. So obviously, this is not a person that is familiar with these type of people or children and she also has her own views of how she would react if it was her child all right this is a business place national tools if this ever happened in jamaica oh lord then somebody say if a jamaica him get a big stone already if a jamaica then pull him down by him ears then somebody went on to say See her one on the TV, they man knock him off. He needs special help in getting down. And then somebody's asking if apparently this person wants to know what's wrong. So she's not aware either. She just sees him as acting strange. So she's asking if there is a doppy in him. And in Jamaica, we refer to doppy as a ghost. So she's asking if there's a doppy in the child. Then somebody said. If I ever Jamaica this, in this dead. Somebody else say, one big stone open I'm head. And this is the last one because I literally had to stop reading the comment section because it made me angry. So now Jamaica not the boat, the place for use one big stone and taking them nice and deadly. There are lots of other comments underneath that video. But I could pick out the ones who were from my country because of how they wrote. So once I read it, I knew it was a Jamaican. There were other persons from other countries. And I did this video already, you know, comparing foreigners versus Jamaicans, the difference between them. So there were other persons from other countries who were also commenting. But they had something else to say, which would have been something nicer. And it was obvious that they could identify that this child is a special needs child. He could be autistic. And they were trying to find out, you know, or giving their opinion as to... Trying to let those who were making the negative comments understand what was happening in the video. Because everybody was concerned about the damage and the cost of the televisions. No one was concerned about... Little man, how did little man get up there? What triggered him to be up there? And how can we get him down from there? And it's very, very sad in Jamaica. And I'm not going to stop advocating for autism awareness. Because it is real. People just don't understand what it is. And if, as a country, we don't get it out there, explain it have people interact with them and know the behaviors of these type of children we're not going to get anywhere because we can't treat people and children like this you know what i notice because i from all of these comments i had to say to one person i'm so glad it's not your child and she responded by saying she glad it's not her child either but i thought about it and then i thought about my son and I don't know. I don't ever want him to be in this unkind world. In this unkind country. Because if we don't get the message out there, people are never ever going to change. So, that was just my take on it. I was so upset. I said, you know, I'm going to do a video about this because I didn't like the comment section. So, I'm still advocating for autism awareness and children with special needs. Every child with autism is different. They're not the same because Kasani would not do that. And no matter how careful you are being a special needs parent, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work 
and I wouldn't even judge the parent to say how did the child get up on the shelf because I know these kids they're any the smallest thing can trigger them and cause them to have a meltdown but you just have to know how to handle it and I think the workers in the store they did an excellent job I didn't see how they got him down but they were very very calm and no if it was in this country that I live in it would not be like that I'm very very sure that somebody would be grabbing my child and I would be grabbing somebody and heading off to prison because mm -mm, I'm not gonna stand for it so I'm still here and I'm still saying awareness 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 we need to love them we need to be kind and we need to accept them for who they are and if accepting means that we don't abuse them we ought not to be abusing them we're not even supposed to be abusing neurotypical kids much less special needs and if they speak like this about special needs kids i don't want to know how they treat their neurotypical kids i'm very very disappointed in the people of my country very very disappointed that's just my two cents <laughs> I this video was is about four days old I couldn't do it at the time because I was very upset so if you have your comments you can leave them down below and let's all try let's try to show kindness be understanding and just try to be aware it's very very important thank you guys so much for watching uh, yes, I'm wearing glasses. My eyes are going uh, because of homeschooling and online classes. So I had to get my eyes checked out. But in the meantime, please remember to like, yeah, share, comment. I need to know your views, especially on this one here. It's a hot topic. And subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.